Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss how to write a Python program to find the factorial of a given number. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me discuss how can we compute the factorial of a number. The factorial of a number will be represented like this. Okay. So if you want to compute the 5 factorial, you will represent like this which is nothing but 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5, which is equal to 120. Similarly, if you want to compute the 3 factorial, it will be 1 into 2 into 3, which is equal to 6. Remember one important point, 0 factorial will be equal to 1. Further, we cannot compute the factorial of a negative number. So, if it is 0 factorial or 1 factorial, it will be 1. For a positive number, we will compute like this. For a negative number, we cannot compute the factorial. Okay. Now, with this background information, let me write a Python program to find the factorial of a number. So, first if I want to find the factorial of a number, I need to ask the user to enter the number. So, if I want to Ask the user to enter the number, I can use the function called input and then I can write enter a number. Okay, and we know that input function will return everything in the form of string. But I want to find the factorial of an integer. Okay, so I need to do the type casting. So this is the way I will do the typecasting. So whatever the user enter a number, it will return it as a string. Now I am converting into an integer. That value will be stored in the variable called en. And then I will take a variable called fact. I will initialize it to 1. Okay. Then what I need to do, I need to verify whether whatever the user has entered the input whether it is less than 0. If the user has entered the negative number, then what I have to display? I have to display that please enter a enter a positive number. Is it clear? This is the output I need to display for the user. If user has entered the n value is equal to 0. So, how can I compare n is equal to 0? I can use the equal operator two times which is an equal logical operator not logical operator comparison operator if it is n value is equal to 0 I can print okay factorial is equal to is equal to 1 okay this is the output I want to display so this is else if so if the condition is true, this will be printed. If the condition is false, it will compare this condition. So if it is not less than 0, I am comparing whether it is equal to 0. So if both these conditions are failed, what is the meaning? This condition is checking whether it is a negative number or not. If it is not a negative number, if it is not equal to 0, then meaning is that it is a positive number. So if it is a positive number, okay, I need to compute the factorial of a number. So, else, okay, the indentation will start for i in range 1 comma n plus 1. We know that the range will take three parameters. We will have three parameters. One is the, let me write here, start and another one is the stop and another one is the step, okay. Now, start tells that from where the loop should start and the stop will describe when you have to stop the loop and the step is what is the increment, whether it, we want to do the increment or decrement, okay. Suppose if I say start is equal to 1, stop is equal to 5 and step is equal to 1 and if I am printing the values, then it will print from 1 to 4, okay. If stop is equal to n, 
it will stop up to n minus 1. Here I want to compute the 5 factorial, I need to go up to 5. So if I specify only n, then it will go up to n minus 1 only. So that's why I have written the stop is equal to n plus 1. Now you can ask me, sir, you did not specify the step. Remember one thing, in a range if you does not specify the start, by default it will consider the value 0. If it is a step, the default value will be 1. If it does not specify the start value, then it will print the, it will consider the start is from 0. Then it will be 0 into something. You finally will get the result as 0. So that's why I have given the start as 1. Okay. Are you able to understand? Now with this knowledge, let me write it. So for i in range 1 comma n plus 1, fact is equal to, uh, yeah, I have written, fact is equal to fact into i. Okay, now let me discuss with a simple example. I need to complete the remaining program, but anyway, I will write here. Suppose let's take that user has entered the n value is equal to 5. If n value is equal to 5, this condition will be false because 5 is not less than 0. So, if this condition is false, it will come here. 5 is equal to 0? No, the, again, this condition is false. So, it will come to the else block for i. Okay, for i in range 1 comma 6 it will be let me write here 1 comma 6 okay now fact is equal to fact into i i have written so initially fact value is 1 and i value is also 1 because i in 1 comma 6 it is so it will start from 1 so initially to i value will be 1 so 1 into 1 it will be 1 so right now fact is consists of value 1 then next time i value will become 2. So fact into i which is 1 into 2 will be 2 that will be stored in the fact. So now fact is consists of value 2. Now i value will become 3 because i is equal to i plus 1. Okay step. If i does not specify the step it will be 1. So now i value is equal to 3. So fact is already 2 and i value is equal to 3. So 2 into 3 it will become 6. Okay, are you able to understand? Now i value will become 4. Okay, so already fact is 6, i value is 4, so 6 into 4, 24, that will be assigned to the fact variable. Then i value will become 5. Okay, so already fact is 24 into 5, which is 120, that will be assigned in the variable called fact. Now it will stop because when you write n plus 1, 5 plus 1, okay, 6, it will stop up to 5, okay. So, fact is equal to fact into i. So, it will run up to n plus 1. Once I got the fact value, I need to display. So, that's why here you should start because this statement, this print is belongs to this one. This fact belongs to this one. So, that's why indentation. Indentation is very important in the Python. So, let me write print the factorial of the number is, we can write fact. Is it clear? So, this is the Python program to compute the factorial of a given number. Now, let me show the implementation in the Jupyter Notebook for you. Now, let me take a variable n. And I want to ask the user to enter a number and that value should be stored in the variable called em. So I am using a function called input function. This input function will display enter a number. Once the user has entered a number, it will return in the form of string. But I want to store that as an integer constant. So I will do the type casting. Once the value comes into the variable n, I want to assign value 1 to the variable called fact. And then I want to verify, does the user has entered a negative number or not? If n value is less than 0, then it is a negative number. We know that for negative number, we cannot compute the factorial. So I will ask the user to enter a positive number if he enters a negative number. 
then I want to verify whether user has entered a value 0 or not. We know that if the n value is 0, 0 factorial will be 1. So I want to display the factorial of the number is equal to 0, 1. Okay. Now if it is not less than 0, not equal to 0, then I want to compute the factorial. So I will write those statements in the else block. Then using the for loop, I want to compute the factorial of a number. So I will write for i in range 1 comma n plus 1. Then I will write a statement as fact is equal to fact into i. Then I will stop this indentation. Now this print statement, I will write the factorial of the number is I will write fact. So whatever the value is there in the variable fact will be displayed as an output. If you want to verify whether you are getting the output properly or not, you can run it. And now let me give the a negative number. If user entered a negative number, then it should display an output as enter a positive number. Look at here. We got the output as enter a positive number. Now let me run the program again. This time, let me give the n value is equal to 0. If I give the n value is equal to 0, you can look at the output. The factorial of the number is equal to 1. Now this time, I will give a positive number such as 5. Look at here. Factorial of 5 is 120. Am I right or wrong? Similarly, let me run the program again and give the n value is equal to 6. See, we got the factorial of 6 is 720. I hope you have understood how can you write a Python program to find a factorial of a number. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.